Alright guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. If you haven't seen me before, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be slightly off topic, but it is something that I do believe I've got a duty to let people know, especially younger people, people my age, 25 or under. And today's video is going to be about why it's so important you really know what you're doing when you go and study and get a student loan. Student loan is a financed loan from the government usually interest free until you reach a certain point in your working life. Once your salary reaches a certain amount, then the government will enforce repayments and that's fine, that's great. But the thing I see a lot of people doing nowadays is rushing into a university degree. University degree to me and to a lot of other people after watching things like fucking American Pie, seeing what college life is like, it's three years worth of partying. A lot of people are just picking the career path and picking the degree that they think is going to be easiest and coast through they're going to get a degree and hopefully hopefully use it in their career and in their job well i see all too many people you know either changing their degree halfway through staying at uni for five years not three they either completely go off the subject that they're studying and don't use their degree whatsoever um, or they drop out and also don't use their degree and the one thing that stays constant at the end of all of these situations is the fact that you're still stuck with the student loan debt. And some of you may say, well that's fine because if everything does go to shit, uh, I can bankrupt it. Well, the main message I'm here to tell you guys today is the fact that it's not so easy to bankrupt student loan debt than you think. Say you get in a bit, the, the, reason, the reason bankruptcy is there is to bail people out. The government's way of, of saying, take risks, start a business, get credit cards. At the end of the day, if everything goes to shit, let's say you start a small business. You've got credit card loans, a personal loan, you might have a business loan with the bank. All of this shit that you're, you know, you're, you're meant to be paying, 90% of all startup small businesses go to shit in the first year. So let's say you're one of those nine of 10. Your business fails, you've got all this debt, and you go to the government with a bankruptcy plea, they grant it, all of your debt is wiped, except for your student loan debt. Student loan debt is not treated the same as any other debt. So the one message I want you guys to know is not, well, two messages. One, choose your career wisely. Don't get rushed into anything. It's not the worst thing in the world to go out and get a shitty job just, just to pay the bills. You may be able to save a little bit of money and just sit back and, and think and get into the real world and get into the workforce and think, okay, what what is it that I actually want to do? Is this three year degree actually gonna get me into the place that I wanna get to? You know, if you're entrepreneurial at heart, it's unlikely that a degree is going to help you in your dreams and goals as far as building a business or building your name or getting famous or you know whatever you wanna do. Personally, my story, I, I went to university. I was always straight A at school. I ended up leaving before I finished, which was, you know, it was probably a good decision in the, in the end because once, you, if you do go through school with good grades, you finish high school, basically it's thing to do is to go to university the next year because you get automatic entry because you've finished high school. I didn't finish high school, so I actually had to wait till I was 20 to go to university. So I was exposed to the workforce. Um, I worked in the corporate environment which I, I, I thought I wanted to do. I loved wearing a suit for about a year. After that, it got really old. I decided to go to university when I, when I turned 20. I'd always been interested in numbers. Um, I thought being an accountant, you'd, you'd earn lots of money, and I thought I'd be good at it. I got three, three months into my accounting degree, and I thought there's absolutely no fucking way I can do this for a job, there's no way. And then I decided, well, you know, if I'm not going to be an accountant, and I'm not going to be an economist, what the hell am I here for? So I ended up quitting. I tried to get my old job back. That didn't work. I found myself with a semester worth of student loan debt, which at that time was about $10,000. I didn't have a job. And if worse came to worse and I wanted to bankrupt, I could not get rid of that student loan debt. And I've still got it to this day. So at the end of the day, I didn't have a degree. I've still got my student loan debt. But it was the best thing I ever did leave at that point because if I had have stayed for three years, I would have had a $60,000 student loan. I wouldn't have wanted to use my degree 
and all it is is a fucking line on your CV. And to be honest, the more interviews I had, you know, the more jobs I've had, I start to realize that it's personality. It's it's what you bring to the table as a person. You know, your initiative, your your values is what's really, really important. That line on your CV isn't that important. You know, I think in a major city, it may be important to have that there. Uh, when people are you know, surfing through CVs, they're gonna be looking for certain things. But in a place like Alice Springs, where I am right now, it's definitely not important. And so I am really, really glad that I didn't follow through with that degree. But with that being said, guys, I've probably talked too much. But the major thing that I wanted to get across is the fact that you've gotta be careful because student loan debt is not, back, not bankruptable. You will be stuck with it. I watched this show on, you know, it's, it's in America, and it's on finance, and it's a guy, Dave Ramsey. And the amount of people that call up with, with student loan debt, you know, 100,000, 200,000, $200,000 of student loan debt with no way to pay it back. They've got shit incomes. They think that this degree is their ticket to a great job. Well, it's not. It really isn't. And you've, really, you've got to be careful, man. You've got to do your thinking. So like I said, don't rush into it. Don't get forced into it. University may not be for you. If, you. if you feel like your efforts are going to be used better in the real world rather than wasting, you've got three years worth of opportunity cost, which means that you're wasting, which means in those three years that you're studying, you could have been earning money for those three years and possibly got a promotion within those three years. So at the end of the three years, you're actually earning more then, then if you grab your degree and try and get into the workforce. So it's up to you. I just wanted to let everyone know it's something I am passionate about. It's something I've told a lot of people about. And I just hate seeing people forced into things and um, regretting things in the end. So that was my advice to you. I hope you can take it on board. Until next time, guys, have a great day. That was me, 100% honest to you guys, as per usual. Subscribe for more. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.